The so-called birthers are the people that don't believe President Barack Obama has a real, live, natural-born American citizenship. He doesn't have a birth certificate to prove it. This focus on natural-born citizenship is it's interesting in the Barack Obama case for a couple of reasons. One, one, he ran against John McCain and nobody raised it, although John McCain had been actually born in Panama, in the Panama Canal Zone, and nobody said boo about that. It's Barack Obama's skin color that excites the birthers, if you will, and causes them to discount his, um, his real life. Uh, natural born Americanness, because he must be an alien. He's got an alien name. He was, you know, went to uh, countries where Islam was a majority, so he must be an alien, and therefore he could not be a natural born American in this worldview. Um, that's what's important about it. What's else important about it is it's attached in a policy wonk kind of way to the fight over the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment is the amendment to the Constitution passed after the Civil War that guarantees people equal access before the law, equal treatment before the law. And it's, a, it's, a, it's the thing that brought citizenship to the former slaves. And so it says in the 14th Amendment, if you are born in the United States, then you are a citizen of the United States. Even if your grandparents, parents, and all your aunts and uncles were illegal or undocumented aliens, if you were born in the United States, you're a natural born citizen. And so the birthers are very much of the ilk that says, no, there's a certain type of person that's a natural born American, and all you others, we really don't want you. And so you see a lot of tie up between the so-called birthers and the anti-immigrant nativist types, both in the House and the Senate and in the social movements.